One important aspect of biology is the subject of anatomy. Anatomy is the scientific study of the body structures of plants, animals, or humans. The first step in the study of an animal's anatomy is to examine its general features. In this way, we can determine its body shape, skin color, gender, and the number of appendages. We can also examine some of its external organs, such as its mouth and eyes. These are all aspects of its external anatomy. However, a visual examination of its external anatomy will not tell us much about its internal structure. It does not let us see the animal's digestive, circulatory, or skeletal systems. In order to discover the details of how God designed an animal, we must look inside it. The internal features of an animal are part of its internal anatomy. To look inside an animal, we first need to dissect it. In this lab, we will introduce you to some of the terms and techniques of dissection. Dissection is the act of cutting or separating tissue to expose inner structures for scientific examination. Before we begin a dissection of a frog, let's become familiar with some of the instruments and terms used in dissection. As always, be sure to use the proper protective outerwear before beginning a dissection. A basic dissection kit should contain the following instruments. A dissection tray, a scalpel, a pair of surgical scissors, a pair of forceps, a needle probe, a blunt probe, and several T-pins. It is important to follow instructions and use extreme caution when using a scalpel or other dissection instruments. Next, let's go over some terms that we will be using as we perform a dissection. The portion of the specimen that lies near the front, or head, is the anterior region. The portion of the specimen near the hind portion, or tail, is the posterior region. The terms anterior and posterior also apply to directions and relative locations. If we are discussing the forelegs and the hind legs, we say the forelegs are anterior to the hind legs, or the forelegs are posterior to the eyes. The back, or upper portion of the specimen, is called the dorsal surface. A view of the upper portion of a specimen is called a dorsal view. The underside or lower portion is called the ventral surface. We are seeing a ventral view of the specimen. The sides of the specimen are called lateral surfaces. An imaginary line drawn from the anterior region to the posterior region through the middle of the specimen is called the axis. Features that lie near the axis are medial features. Features that lie away from the axis are lateral features. A cut to the tissues of the specimen is called an incision. Incisions may be made with either a scalpel or the scissors. An incision across the specimen at right angles to the axis is a transverse incision. An incision that follows the axis of the specimen is a medial incision. An incision that runs parallel to the axis is a lateral incision. When using the scalpel or the scissors, we need to be careful to make short, definite cuts so our incisions are not too deep or too shallow. Now that we are familiar with some of the terms and techniques of dissection, we are ready to begin our first dissection. In our next lab, we will study the frog's anatomy by looking at its external features. Then, we will begin a dissection to look at its internal anatomy. At this time, proceed with the corresponding activities.